Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at solving for x in two steps. So these are two-step equations that we'll be looking at today. As a prerequisite, you will need to know how to solve for x in one-step equations with multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So once you have that down, then you're ready to move into two-step equations. We'll talk about how to do those. A two-step equation will look like this. 5x minus 6 equals 14. You can see that if you f follow these steps, you'll be able to find your variable, just like we did before. Let's go ahead and find our variable. Our variable is x. It's right there. So we found our variable, but there's two things connected to it. Notice that when we're asking what's connected to it, we're multiplying times 5, and we're also subtracting 6. Those are two things that are connected with our variable. So when we're working with two-step equations, what we do is a couple of different ways of saying it. We do the order of operations backwards or we peel away the layers that are farthest away from the variable and get down to the variable. So what we're going to do first is we're going to deal with this one, the negative 6. We're going to add 6 to both sides of the equation first and watch what happens when we do that. Now we've created an equation that will follow the same steps. What's our variable? x. What's happening to it now? It's being multiplied times 5, so now we're going to divide both sides by 5 to get our variable by itself on the left and our solution of 4, x is equal to 4, on the right side of the equation. So each time we do an equation with two steps, we're going to follow the same pattern. We're going to look for what's happening and what's connected to it, and then we're going to do the order of operations backwards. So first we did the subtraction, then the addition, or the subtraction and addition, then the multiplication division, I should say. And then another way of looking at it is what's the closest connection to our variable, and we do that last. We start kind of peeling layers off of the sides. Let's look at this one. 2x plus 4 is equal to 26. We're going to find our variable. Our variable is the letter x. So it is right in there. What's happening to x? Well, it's being multiplied times 2, and it's also, we're adding 4 to it. So we've got two things connected with it. We're doing multiplication and addition. We're doing order of operations backwards, so we'll, do, we'll take care of the addition first by subtracting 4 from both sides. Or in other words, we're peeling off the layer that's farthest away from the x. Let's subtract 4 from both sides of that equation. Leaves us with 2x is equal to 22. And now we're going to undo that by dividing both sides by 2, which gives us our final answer of x is equal to 11. Notice we're following those same steps every time. Let's do another one, throw in some negatives. Um, and see what happens. You'll notice we follow the same exact steps. Find our variable. Variable is x. In these videos it usually is. What happens to your variable? What's connected to it? Well, we're multiplying times 6 and we're adding 13. So let's undo that by peeling away the farthest layers. Our farthest layer is that 13. Notice how disconnected that is from the 6. So we'll subtract 13 from both sides of the equation, giving us 6x is equal to negative 12. Don't worry about the negatives. We are going to deal with them shortly. Now we're going to take care of the 6 that is connected to our x. Notice how close that one is. We're multiplying 6 times x. To undo that, we'll divide both sides by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. They cancel each other out, and you're left with x on the left side of the equation. Negative 12 divided by positive 6. A negative divided by a positive leaves you with a positive result. So our final answer here is going to be a negative, negative 2. We followed the same steps. Don't let negatives intimidate you. We're going to follow the same steps when you have positives and negatives. Let's look at another one.
This one here starts out with a negative in the equation. Negative 9x plus 62 is equal to 17. Let's find that variable. Our variable is x. What's connected to there? Well, we had multiplied times negative 9, and we're adding 62. So first we get rid of the 62 by subtracting 62 from both sides of that equation. That leaves us with negative 9 is equal to negative 45. Now we're going to divide both sides of that equation by our coefficient of negative 9. When we divide both sides by negative 9, negative divided by a negative gives you positive x, and negative 45 divided by negative 9 gives you a positive 5. So although we had negatives in our original question, our answer ends up being positive. For our final question, what we're going to do is deal with a question that has a fraction in the question. So we're going to find the variable, ask what happened or what's connected to it, and then do the inverse step by step. Our variable is x. We want to get x completely by itself. To do that, we have to undo dividing by 3 and subtracting 2. So let's start here by peeling off this layer, this minus 2. We're going to get rid of that first by adding 2 to both sides of the equation. Let's write that down. When we add 2 to both sides of the equation, notice we make the equation less complicated. Now all we have is x over 3 on the left, and 2 plus 2 is 4 on the right side. Now we're going to deal with that divided by 3 by doing the inverse of multiplying times 3 on both sides of the equation. A fraction means division, so we would write x over 3 and it means the same thing as x divided by 3. So when we multiply times 3 on both sides, it's going to look like this. x divided by 3 times 3 is equal to 4 times 3. Notice we're multiplying times 3 on both sides of the equation x divided by 3 times 3 cancels out to leave us x on the left side, and 4 times 3 is 12. That'll be our final answer. x is equal to 12. So two and a half things to keep in mind. First off, you have to remember all the rules for multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting. We like to, um, with two-step equations, I like to tell you that you're peeling off layers. You start at the thing that's the farthest out, or you do the opposite of the order of operations any of those methods that works for you to help you kind of do them in the correct order and get your variable by itself. Also the rules for solving an equation, we're going to see these over and over. You find the variable, see what happened, and then do the inverse to both sides. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.